Imagine a world without the Big Mac, Happy Meals, or the iconic golden arches shining bright on every other street corner. Hard to picture, right? That's the world McDonald's has created, a global fast food realm that's as familiar as your neighborhood park. But how did a humble burger stand turn into this colossal empire? Welcome to the Business Decoded series on Curious Businessman channel, where we dive deep into the strategies of Fortune 500 companies. Today, we're taking a bite out of McDonald's history, a journey marked by groundbreaking strategies, fierce controversies, and an undying quest to rule the fast food world. From its humble beginnings as a single hamburger stand in 1940, it has transformed into a huge empire with more than 48,000 locations in 120 countries and territories. There is no company in the fast food industry that has achieved the level of success that McDonald's has, and a lot of that is due to the company's effective business strategies. In this video, we'll explore how they redefined fast food, influenced global eating habits, and navigated through storms of criticism and competition. What makes McDonald's more than just another burger joint? Why do billions love it? Join us as we unravel the five pivotal strategies that transformed a simple idea into a global phenomenon. Prepare to be surprised, intrigued, and maybe even a little hungry. Why is McDonald's not just a restaurant, but a cornerstone of modern franchising? The answer lies in a bold move made decades ago. When Ray Kroc joined McDonald's in 1955, he didn't just see a burger joint. He saw a blueprint for worldwide business domination. His idea? Franchise the model. This wasn't just about opening more outlets, it was about duplicating a successful formula and sharing it with ambitious entrepreneurs. By franchising, McDonald's could expand rapidly without the hefty costs of owning each restaurant. This strategy catapulted them from a handful of locations to thousands worldwide. It's a franchising fairy tale, but not without its share of dark chapters. Controversies emerged over labor practices, profit sharing, and market saturation. Some accused McDonald's of valuing expansion over quality and ethics. Despite these challenges, franchising remains the backbone of McDonald's global presence. It's a testament to the power of sharing a successful model, but also a cautionary tale of growth and responsibility. Question for you, which other brands did better franchising than McDonald's? How does McDonald's ensure that their burgers taste the same from Berlin to Buenos Aires? It's all about consistency, the secret source of their success. McDonald's has turned the art of delivering the same taste, quality and experience worldwide into a science. The consistency goes beyond taste. It's about creating a uniform experience, from the layout of their restaurants to the speed of service. McDonald's rigorous standards for franchisees and suppliers ensure that a McNugget in New York is identical to one in Tokyo. This commitment to consistency has been both celebrated and criticized. While it provides a comforting predictability for customers, it also raises questions about cultural homogenization and the impact on local cuisines and economies. McDonald's consistency is more than a business strategy. It's a global statement promising a familiar haven in an ever-changing world. Comment below, which other brands ensure consistency better than McDonald's? Why is McDonald's not just in the burger business, but also in the real estate game? Behind its global fast food empire lies an astute real estate strategy. McDonald's isn't just about selling burgers, it's about owning prime real estate. McDonald's owns about 70% of its restaurant buildings and about 45% of the land that they're built on. By owning the land and buildings of most of its outlets, McDonald's has established a dual income stream, food sales and property investments. This strategy offers significant financial benefits, including stable rent income from franchisees and appreciation in property value. It's no wonder that McDonald's is the fifth most valuable brand in the world. However, it's not without controversy. Critics argue that this focus on real estate could detract from the core business of food quality. Others see it as a smart move, showcasing McDonald's ability to diversify and strengthen its economic standing. This real estate approach exemplifies McDonald's innovative spirit, 
turning the fast food business model on its head and securing long-term financial stability. How does McDonald's cater to a diverse, global customer base? By expertly adapting their menu to local tastes. McDonald's isn't just about Big Macs and fries. It's about Makalu Tikka in India, the McLobster in Canada, and the Teriyaki Burger in Japan. This strategy is a masterclass in cultural adaptation. It respects local dietary preferences and cultural nuances, allowing McDonald's to become an integral part of communities worldwide. However, this approach has sparked debates over the impact of global brands on local food cultures and small businesses. Critics argue that while McDonald's adapts to local tastes, it also plays a role in diminishing local culinary traditions. Despite the controversies, McDonald's commitment to menu innovation is undeniable. It shows an understanding that global success doesn't mean a one-size-fits-all approach. It means celebrating diversity in taste and choice. In addition to consistently updating and improving its menu, McDonald's also loves to offer its customers limited time offerings. This kind of scarcity marketing works almost every time, and McDonald's knows this. Sometimes the limited offerings are so loved by customers that McDonald's just decides to start offering them as regular meals. Which current limited time offering do you wish could be made a regular thing? What makes the McDonald's brand so universally recognizable and beloved? The secret lies in their marketing mastery. From the I'm loving it slogan to the iconic Ronald McDonald character, their marketing strategies have embedded McDonald's into our cultural fabric. McDonald's hasn't just sold food, it has sold an experience, a slice of Americana and a sense of community. Their marketing campaigns have been innovative, emotionally resonant, and sometimes provocative. They've leveraged everything from celebrity endorsements to engaging children with Happy Meals and toys. But this hasn't been without its share of controversies. McDonald's has faced criticism for its role in promoting unhealthy eating habits, particularly among children. Their marketing genius, while highly effective, has sparked debates about corporate responsibility and consumer health. Yet McDonald's continues to thrive, demonstrating the power of branding in building and maintaining a global empire. Which would you say is your most memorable McDonald's advertisement? As we've journeyed through the dynamic landscape of McDonald's strategies, it's clear that their path to global dominance is paved with more than just burgers and fries. It's a story of strategic franchising, unwavering consistency, savvy real estate investments, culturally adaptive menus, and potent marketing campaigns. Each strategy, while brilliantly effective, has not been without its share of controversy and debate. McDonald's has been a trendsetter and a topic of contention, a symbol of American entrepreneurship and a subject of global scrutiny. So what's your take? Are these strategies mere business acumen, or do they signify something deeper about our global culture and consumption? We leave you with these thoughts to ponder. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the business world. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we decode another corporate giant. Until then, keep asking questions, stay curious, and continue to explore the fascinating world of business. Remember, every giant leap starts with a small step, or in McDonald's case, a simple burger.